This little thing lives on my desk. It reacts when I touch it. It gets quieter when I ignore it and the longer it stays here, the more it starts to feel familiar. I build it as a desk companion, kind of like a physical mix of The Sims and Tamagotchi. And after a while, you actually start caring about it. That probably sounds unnecessary. And honestly it is. It doesn't save time. It doesn't make you more productive. It doesn't solve a real problem. So why build something like this at all? The answer is the same reason people play The Sims or carry the Tamagotchi around. It's entertainment. A small, playful break. Something that can make you smile when you've been stuck in your work for too long. This desk companion runs entirely on its own. Everything that happens, happens right there on the device itself. It's not connected to your phone or the internet and there's nothing running in the background. That was a very deliberate choice because it keeps the whole experience calm and focused. Interacting with it is simple. You tap it, hold your finger on it for a moment or just check in once in a while. There are no menus, no instructions and nothing to configure. What you do and what you don't do slowly influences how it behaves. At its core, everything revolves around three needs. Energy, fun and sleep. Energy is the most literal one. It's directly tied to the battery. As the battery gets low, the companion becomes quieter, slower and a bit more needy. Charging it is basically the same as feeding it. Fun comes from interaction. Touching it, spending time with it or playing small mini-games keeps it entertained. If you ignore fun for too long, its mood starts to change. Sleep works a bit differently. When you place it somewhere dark, it goes to sleep and it stays asleep until you bring it back into the light. To handle the fun part, there are two small mini-games built in. They're quick, simple and completely optional. Playing them affects the mood and slowly builds the relationship over time. Winning feels different than losing and both actually matter. The games aren't the main feature, they are just another way to interact for a moment. Based on how well those needs are balanced, the companion moves through different moods. Sometimes it's calm, sometimes curious, sometimes bored or a little grumpy. None of that is random. It's all a reaction to how you treat it over time. There's also a relationship system running quietly in the background. It doesn't care about spamming interactions. What really matters is consistency, coming back day after day. As that relationship grows, it becomes calmer, more expressive and more familiar. It also ages over time, not in a dramatic way, but just enough to subtly change how it behaves. Getting to this point took a lot of iterations. And since I built this without a custom PCB, you can probably imagine what it looks like on the inside. Wires everywhere, modules stacked on top of each other and plenty of compromises. Very much a working prototype, but that's part of the charm. This project turned out to be way more involved than I originally planned. So instead of rushing everything into one video, I split it into two parts. This first one is about what it is and how it behaves in everyday use. Now I'm curious what you think. What kind of behavior feels like it's missing? What would you add to something like this? And if you had to give it a name, what would you call it? Let me know in the comments. By the way, if you'd like to build any of my projects yourself, you can find all the files, build guides and details on my Kofi page. The link is right below this video. To start the new year, I also released a three-part, fully printable desk organizer set over there. So if you enjoy building things for your workspace or improving your desk setup, feel free to check that out as well. In the next video for this project, I'll go into much more detail and show you how this desk companion actually came together. From the design and construction, to the electronics and individual components and especially the code behind all of this behavior. I'll also talk about what didn't work, what I'd change if I built it again and you'll find the full upload linked on my Kofi page too. And one last thing, I noticed that this little guy likes to sleep a bit too much. So I ended up designing and building a custom floor lamp to help with that. Make sure to check it out.